All right, what's up, everyone? Today is August 28th at 9.05 a.m. This is going to be a free live trading session. So for those that don't know, we do a free, well, I do a, a live trading every single day for MIC subscribers that want to get this add-on, right? So we went back to the drawing boards and we decided that we want to kind of give more help and more mentorship to our members. So we said, you know what? The best thing we could do is kind of have people trade alongside me, right? Be right next to me as I execute my trades. So what I'm going to start doing is I want to do a free live trading session like this one once a month so that people could see what we are all about and if this live trading will help you. So there was about, if I'm not mistaken, over 900 people that registered to this live trading. So it's pretty kind of crazy. Actually, it's 954. That's crazy. Our Zoom limitation is about a thousand people. So we're pretty much at our Zoom limitation. Um, so what I'm gonna do is at the end of this live trading, I'm gonna share a special discount for anyone that's kind of on the fence about live trading. So stay tuned till the end. So just so you guys understand, the way that I do these live tradings is I start off by building the watch list. So I build the watch list every single day. And then from there, I make the plan, execute the plan and answer questions. So let's start off by building the watch list. So let me pull up the watch list right now. So I build the watch list live so that if anyone is curious on how to build a watch list, they could learn from me. So first things first is the way that I build my watch list is I always go to the previous day's watch list first. So, <clears throat> so the previous day's watch list is Friday. So I actually am, was on vacation last week. I went to the Kennedy Space Center with my girlfriend. So I personally did not build a watch list, but MIC is not just about me. We have plenty of moderators and mentors that are successful traders that also build a watch list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tom's watch list from Friday, and I'm going to look at the watch list that he built and try to see if I'm able to find some plays off that. So TSHA, TSHA, let me see. Always look at the daily chart first. So TSHA looks like to me the volume is dying off, right? It had you know 18 million shares, and the next day it had two million shares. So this, because the volume is dying off, is disqualified. I'm very selective with the stocks that I trade because I want to make sure that I am trading the highest probability setups only. And if something doesn't have volume, I am not interested in it. So for me personally, due to the low volume on TSHA, I am disqualifying it. Okay, next. ELIQ. ELIQ, similar situation, TSHA. The first initial day it ran, it had massive volume. The second day, the volume kind of shrunk. And, you know, it's even more shrinking right now. So this to me is disqualified again because of the low volume on the stock. Okay. Does that make sense? Next. Uh, EOSE. EOSE. So I'm always looking at the daily chart. So this to me, guys, is a really weird daily chart it kind of collapsed on probably some sort of news. And then they just kind of rebounded it back, rebounded it back, rebounded it back. So because they collapsed it and rebounded it, pretty much everyone that shorted since this level is now underwater. And because everyone is underwater, that tells me that there's way too much competition on this stock. So again, it is disqualified. So notice how I am being extra selective on every single stock that I trade. I am looking for reasons to disqualify stocks because I want to be trading the best setups only. Does that make sense? I only want to be trading the best setups only. So I'm disqualifying stocks that do not make sense to me. BRSH. Again, BRSH. Another very key thing, guys, is look, the BRSH move started at $1.80 and it went all the way up to $4, right? $1.80 to $4. Now it's down to $2.13. So logically, if I draw my support here at the 170s, you know, best case scenario, I'll make 30 cents, but this may bounce a dollar. So because this has more potential upside than more potential downside, it's an ignore. It's already come back down to support where the, it's already back where the move start, right? So there's not enough meat on the bone on this stock. So once again, it's disqualified. So all of the stocks that were moving on Friday, they're either low volume or they're disqualified because they don't have enough meat on the bone still. Okay. So now that that is done, now that that is done, I am looking at what stocks are moving today to determine a plan to trade them. 
right? So let's start with the highest percentage gainer of the day, which is GDC. GDC, you can see that this is a former runner. This is a former runner. It's ran from two to 44. It's ran from five to 10, right? It's, it's a previous runner. So because it's a previous runner, it has a lot of attention. Currently, it's trading almost 8 million shares pre-market, right? So this is definitely the hot stock of the day. And as you guys know, in MIC, we try to avoid the hot stock of the day until there is a trend change or a signal change on this stock. So for me, I see key support here, right? So let me draw my key support. I see support here at 440s, right? 440s, which kind of ties up to VWAP right here. So in a perfect world, I see two potential trades on this stock, right? I see either a morning push towards five and a death candle to short, or if this thing starts to break this 440 line, I could look to short bounces. So this is the first stock that fits what I'm looking for. It's extended gap. It's a former runner. Um, so I'm going to start to make a plan. So GDC, GDC, hot stock of the day so far, very risky until we see a death candle. Two potential trades on the stock today. Either a morning push and fail off $5 to short 30% max size. Why 30% max size? Because still front side of the move. So if it's on front side of the move, I don't want to get too aggressive. Uh, morning push, $5 short, 30% max size. Nail and bail only. So that means that if it pushes towards five and fails, I'll take a small short with a plan to nail and bail. It means get in and out quickly. Or, or what I'm looking for is a break under 440 and a failed bounce to short. So that's GDC so far. Does that make sense? Next is GNS. GNS, it's kind of looking like a daily chart breakout here um, around above 175. I'm actually pretty surprised at how well the stock has held up. Uh, to me, it's pretty amazing that they were able to kind of hold this stock the way it has. You know, it's gapping up today, but I'm pretty much going to be patiently waiting on this one. I'd rather wait for some more confirmation. So GNS, ideally, this stock extends. at the open and I will wait for a death candle signal to take a short. What I like about GNS is that it pretty much gapped up pretty nicely. It gapped up pretty nicely. So that gives me the opportunity that once it fails, it may kind of, kind of come back down red. So I'd rather wait for it to confirm first. So all I'm trying to do is wait for these things to confirm first. I would rather let it extend, let it extend, let it extend, and then confirm first. You will know when you see a death candle, right? It's pretty much clear as day. So I'm waiting for that death candle signal and then I'm gonna attack. CRKN. This one, I don't like the daily chart. It's kind of back down. You see how previous support is uh, 122. So it's already at 130. So I mean, best case scenario, make eight cents. So I'm not really interested in that one. YS. Do, do, do. Again, I'm seeing. YS. Again, I don't think there's too much meat on the bone on this one. So I'm probably just going to ignore it for now. Um, what's next? GNS I did. VFS is another one. So VFS, this is like a pretty insane chart from $10 to $90 in one, two, three, four, five days. These are the stocks that oftentimes, you know, attract people. These are the, these are the stocks that oftentimes, you know, get people to short and it's already up like from here. Oh, eight to 40 short, 29 to 40 short. 37 to 50, short, you know, 55 to 70, short, 70 to 90, short. So people see that this stock is up, right? People see that this stock is up and their automatic first instinct is I got to short it because up. 
But these stocks are super, super risky. I am petrified of these stocks because you can see, look at the range, the range 92 to 72 almost, right? $20 worth of range. So even if you're using a thousand shares, you could be plus or minus $20,000 on this stock in the blink of an eye. So these are so risky to me, right? These are the stocks that I am petrified of. And every time I say that, you know, they end up crashing, they end up tanking, they end up losing everything. So for me personally, I am just waiting. I am just waiting for these to be so obvious. I would rather let it tank to 60 and then short it, right? And people will be like, oh, why'd you wait till then? It's because at that point, there's no sense of this thing coming back. So pretty much on BFS, it's setting up for a potential, a potential first red day setup, right? So I'm pretty much ignoring this until a first red day setup. Next. So I'm not really good at these penny stocks. Um, I find myself, you know, trading them pretty poorly. Um, but MULN is like a very highly dilutive stock. So it's kind of already pulled back a little bit. I mean, maybe I can make an argument if it's getting towards this resistance area at 80 cents, right? So you can see it pushed, failed, pushed, failed, push, failed, push, fail. So I mean, maybe if we get up to 80 cents, I can look for short. So on this one, MULN, I would scale in 0 0.80, 0 0.90, and $1 to scale in short. Again, this is not something that I'm too in love with, but you can see here by drawing my resistance lines, 70s, you know, I mean, 80s, uh, 90s, and usually $1 is uh, the resistance for the stock. So, so I'm pretty much just waiting to see if it bounces up there. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Give me a second. Uh, AMC, I mean, honorable mention, pretty crazy. Um, the stock has not been adjusted on the chart yet for the reverse split, but it was at 419, right? It's not really been adjusted yet. So I mean, it's just kind of crazy here. It's, uh, it's crazy. I think the split adjusted price, let me see real quick. Uh, uh, I think it was like 40. Right, so I think it was a 10 for one split. So it was $40. So right now it's trading at $12 divided by $40. AMC is down 70%, 70%, right? 70%, this is a dilutive stock. They're just gonna run an ATM on this stock. They're gonna just destroy the stock. All the meme guys, all the people uh, are losing their shirt on the stock. But I mean, a perfect world, one of these days is gonna have a pretty aggressive debt cap bounce. I don't know when it's going to have a debt cap bounce. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe, I don't know. Uh, so just kind of waiting for it to have a debt cap bounce and shorting that debt cap bounce. Oftentimes, if it does have a debt cap bounce, it'll be like a red to green move. So it'll open up red, go green, and then run. So I'm going to just kind of make note of that name. See, waiting for this to have a dead cap bounce rebound day. Oftentimes, the rebound day is when it starts red and reclaims green and goes. So we'll be watching it on the rebound day for either a long or an extended move to short. Need more information first. So that's pretty much the watches for today. So does anyone have any questions on that before I move forward? So every single day, that's how I start. Every single day, I start off by building the watch list live. I build the watch list live so that you guys could understand how I make my list. GNS has a forward-looking event. Thank you, David. So let's see. The GNS forward-looking events. Do, do, do. What is the date on this, David? Eight thirty-one. 
Thank you, David. So now GNS may be in play until 831. See, this is the power of the community, guys. This is why we do what we do. Is sometimes I miss certain things. I miss certain things, and that's why having the community allows us to be able to get every single nook and cranny out there, right? So we got about 10 minutes until the market opens here. So keep in mind, guys, we're going to be using the MIC webinars chat for a Q&A. And if someone is not in MIC, they could shoot me a tweet and I will try to answer that uh, question. Did I locate anything yet? I located some GDC very early because it was cheap but I have not located anything else. The only reason why I located GDC be is because I felt like the borrow was gonna be in high demand. So I wanted to just make sure I got it. I got it for very, very, very cheap. I got it for 0 0.0025 a share. Now it's around seven cents a share. So yeah. So I got two potential trades here today set up. Um, either push and fail at five for a nail and bail or wash out and fail. Pretty much all my trading is based on looking for death candles and looking for signals. Um, something that I've noted in this market cycle is that pre-market is relatively risky these days. So I've been trying to avoid pre-market trading as much as possible. And yeah, so with about, I don't know, nine minutes until the market opens, I'm going to run to the bathroom. And when I come back, we will do a quick Q&A. Be right back.
Oh, I'm back. What I miss? Oh, GDC. So no pre-market rule is working very well. Got about three minutes till market opens. So if I'm trading GDC today, it's going to be a nail and bail until we get a very clear signal lower. Currently, we see VFS moving up as well. As soon as I start trading, you will see the triangles on my screen. Oh yeah. So keep in mind guys that I am not a financial advisor. This is not meant to be financial advice. Everything I say or do is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Trading is very risky and you have to be prepared to lose all of your money trading. You know, this is not meant for you guys to copy or replicate any of my trades. This is pretty much your way of sitting right beside me as I trade every single day. So please do not copy, please do not follow. And I understand that I'm not a financial advisor and none of this is financial advice. All of these are just my opinions. VFS reminds me of HKD. I don't know if you guys remember that stock. So again, guys, I'm going to be trading live right now. Anyone has any commentary, feel free to post it in the webinars channel. If you are not an MIC member, feel free to tweet at me. But aside from that, uh, we'll be getting started here in one minute when the market opens. Going to stay small, going to stay nimble until I see a signal. So what I'm usually looking for is I'm usually looking for like some sort of death candle. I'm looking for some sort of confirmation candle. GDC tried to break over five and it's kind of failing. So I'd like to see that, but yeah, let's see. Got about 30 seconds until the market opens. If there's anything that's hitting the watch list and I miss it, please be sure to let me know. But aside from that, um, let's see what's going to happen. And keep in mind, guys, it's all real time. So there's no delay. There's no nothing like that. Okay, Mark's open. All right, so let's see. Okay, my 30s. Took a starter short, GDC. Into that push and fail. Started into that morning pop and fail. Nothing of size yet. Looking at 465 as support. 490 says seller. Remember, $5 was the resistance. So, so far, $5 is resisting. Just want to give it a second before I add a little bit more. Uh, VFS ramped up to 89 and failed. Pretty big fail on VFS. Wanting to see. Okay, 490, a seller showed up on GDC. So, I just added some more short. So, I saw the 490 stack seller. So, I just hit the bid at 487. VFS halting down, VFS halting down. That might be a potential death candle on VFS. I'm going to pull up VFS here, VFS, GNS. So VFS, okay, too much happening right now. I've got to focus GDC. GDC, looking if I could get an ad on the bounce a little bit. It is a death candle right at the open. GNS money flow. So it looks like money is flowing into GNS. So that makes me a little bit more confident on GDC. Watching to see GDC bounce fail. 490 has a seller, GDC. 
490 has a seller. It looks like VWAP is over there. Try to look for an ad spot on GDC. Add a little bit more GDC here on the bid, 481, based on that VWAP projection. If we look to be reclaiming that uh, VWAP level, I'll just stop out on the ads. But right now, I'm seeing a death candle at the open. I'm seeing a $5 rejection. I'm seeing a VWAP rejection. GNS is taking the money flow, so I am ignoring GNS. Because GNS is ramping up, taking all the attention, all the money, I do not want to short it right now. I would rather let the money exit GDC by going into GNS. That is a concept we talk about in MIC, money flow. When we see money flowing into a new stock, we do not want to short it. So as of right now, I see 465 as support on GDC. I will take my final ad if 465 breaks. So watching to see 465 level break to take another ad on this stock. So just as a recap, I shorted the morning pop when it failed. I added on the $5 pre-market rejection, and I added again when VWAP failed. Now, if low of the day fails at 465, I will add some more. Ideally, I want to see GNS keep ramping to take the money flow and attention away. 465, getting prepared to add. Did not add yet, just waiting. You can see my trades very clearly on the chart over there. Getting very prepared to add, let's see. VFS, big rebound, big rebound. Added GDC short. Now I'm in about 50%-ish size. VFS, big reclaim. Four sixty five low of the day. Four sixty five low of the day. We need this fucker to break four sixty five. Let's see. So what I did just very quick recap. Five dollars was pre market resistance. It pushed over five dollars and failed. But at the open, it hit everyone stops. The stops got hit. It failed. So I took a starter when that pre market high of the day failed. When five dollars pre market resistance failed, I added. When VWAP failed, I added. When low of the day failed, I added. So I'm in about 50% size now because all the signals are in my favor. 62, 62, let's see, let's see, okay. Okay, so I just tried to break low of the day there and reclaimed. So now I'm trying to see if this is going to be a trap or not. If it's gonna be a trap, I have to mitigate my risk and cover out. The moment it broke 465, a bidder showed up at 470. So 470s are going to be very key right now. So watching the scene. We're back at VWAP. Is this going to fail or is it going to test? Based on what it does, I'm going to mitigate my risk or add. Seventy is a fail. This is a big fail. Let's see. Seventy four seventy breaks. It should confirm. Looking to add if 470 breaks. 460 low a day, that's a death candle again. That's a death candle again. Okay. Where's the next support? Next support is 455. Draw all my lines, 455. So I'm chilling right now. I still got my 50% size on. I was too slow to add. I was too slow to add, so I'm just waiting for a proper entry. Again, death candle, short. Second get death candle, looking for higher. Would you stop out at 540 or earlier? I would have stopped out if $5 reclaimed. I would have stopped out if $5 reclaimed. But right now, right now, four, remember what I said, guys. This 440-ish level. 440 is key support, right? Key support. 
So that's going to be very essential. Right now I'm chilling. I got about a 490 average. So I'm allowed to be a little bit more patient with this stock. GNS looks like it's getting money flow again. AMC, AMC is starting to bounce. Remember, the red to green move may trigger a very large bounce on it. So I'm going to be having this on a side radar. Maybe, maybe, maybe it might be a potential long if red to green reclaims, but I'm not doing anything yet. I'm just waiting. I got a great trade on this GDC. I'm going to babysit it right now. Is this making sense to everyone currently? Does everyone understand what I'm doing so far? Death candle, death candle. Death candle, death candle, key support. In a perfect world, we will see another death candle under this key support, and then the fun starts. I'm waiting. Waiting. I'm trying to see where is the money flowing? Where is the money flowing? Is it flowing to GNS? Is it flowing to AMC? Where is the money flowing? Looking around, is it AMC? Uh, looks like it. Problem with AMC is it's such a dog that I don't really want to go long unless it's obvious, right? I mean, it's starting to look a little bit obvious now. And this VFS, I'm just petrified of it, guys. I'm just very, very scared of it. It may tank, it may not tank. I just don't want to risk it. Try to be very risk averse. Although VFS is up a lot, guys, uh, it's just, I'm just so scared of it. As you saw right here, it tried to halt down and it rebounded $10 a share. $4.65 was prior support, so we need that to break. $4.56, come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Four sixties, four fifties, four fifty five. The second VWAP on my chart one is for pre market and open calculated, and one is just for the open. So GDC, fantastic, 450 test, 450, 440. Remember, this is the key level, 440s. So now, come on down, bitch. 446, I just trimmed a piece of my position to lock in profits. I want to make sure I lock in profits on this stock to be able to short it higher, right? The $5 is the whole dollar mark. That is a key mental area. Same thing with 450. It is a key mental area. So I lock in some profits to be able to make sure that I am able to reshort a bounce, right? So I locked in about a third of my position, right? A third of my position on this dip to add, to be able to add back in case this ship bounces, okay? This is making sense, guys. Even if very linear. Four forties key support. I covered a little bit more at the key support. I am trimming my position. I am mitigating my risk. I am giving myself an insurance policy in case something goes wrong on this stock. Okay, I still have half of my position. I have half of my position so that I can make sure that if this stupid thing bounces, that I have some locked in profits to be able to risk. Right. So. Look at this very clear chart here, guys. Look at this very, okay, VFS is failing. So I have a very clear chart here. Notice the $5 pre-market resistance is failing, right? Fail, pushes up and fails. At the market open, it tries to push again. 
It stops everyone out and then fails. I take my first initial starter. And then when $5 fails again, I add. I'm in about 20% size, okay? Then I see a death candle and a VWAP rejection. So I add. It breaks the law of the day. I add. Over here, this death candle. I should have been adding here, but I wanted to get a little bit higher of an entry. That was my mistake. I wanted to get a little bit too much of a perfect entry, so I missed the add, but it's okay because I have 50% size on. Now, as it breaks... VWAP and goes back down to support. Notice this key support area, key support area. I covered a piece of my position on the key support area to add this shit right back. So now if this thing bounces, which it looks like it's about to do right now, I'm going to reshort it. Okay. So I'm at 451. I just got to reshort. Ideally 450s, 460s, 470s. I'm going to get back in this stupid thing. Because now, now it looks pretty broken to me. It looks pretty broken to me, dude. So all the bounces technically, technically should fail. Is this starting to make sense, guys? Is this starting to make sense? Do you guys see how linear and simple trading can be? Oh, motherfucker, don't tell me it's going to fail. Well, I got a good ad in that 51, but God, motherfucking damn it, shit. Fuck. Fuck. All right, 29, cover a little bit more. My fucking dumb ass, right? My dumb ass. All good, all good, all good. Staying calm, sticking to the plan. It's never a problem when you're making money. It's never a problem when you're making money. I do a lot of self-talk when I'm trading, guys. So I covered a little bit at 429. So pretty much what I reshored at 451, I covered at 429. 451 minus 429. That's 22 cents a share in one minute. 22 cents a share in one minute. What's the next support? Uh, next support is like the 20s, right? The 20s. Even without seeing the next support, I did a really good cover there. And next going to be four bucks. VFS is looking a little bit exciting now for me. I mean, I really want to trade it, but I'm just trying to control my FOMO here, guys. I have a little bit of confidence now because of the GDC trade. So I want to kind of control my FOMO here. Twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty nine. Looks like twenty eight and twenty nine are kind of refreshing bids on GDC. Twenty eight, twenty nine, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty five. Whoa, hello. Covered a little bit more. Four twenty four. All right, I'm getting out of all of it at 426. I'm gonna call it a day here. Got 300 shares left at 426. 426, got it, all out. So I traded today, guys, for about 9.30, for about 15 minutes, and I made about $8,000 in 15 minutes. And that is my trade, and welcome to MIC. That is what I do every single goddamn motherfucking day. And that's it. That's 15 minutes of trading, guys. That's 15 minutes of trading. So now, for those of you that are not part of the live trading, are you seeing why so many members are loving the live trading? I mean, it's a no-brainer, guys. It's a no-brainer. This is 15 minutes of trading. And if you just do the math, if you just do the math, let me show you something. Let me show you something. And these are not pump and dumps, guys. These are not illiquid stocks. 
So I made $8,000 today in 15 minutes. If I make $8,000 a day in 15 minutes, that means I'm going to make $2 million a year. $2 million a year trading for 15 minutes. Everything is based on the opportunity in front of you guys. Every single thing is based on opportunity. So the market has been slow lately. So I've been kind of risk averse, right? I've been risk averse because the market has been slow. But now when there's opportunities and I'm seeing some action in there, it kind of gets me excited, right? So guys, uh, just so you know, uh, this was a free live trading stream. So I do this pretty much every single day. I do this every single day, right? So I want to start to do more of these free once a month. But as you can see, I mean, you know, you have the opportunity to learn how to trade from a professional. Actually, I got to reshort this shit now. Um, reshorting the bounce. Uh, you guys have the trade. You guys have the opportunity to learn how to trade from a real professional trader every single morning, right? Every single morning, you have the opportunity to learn how to trade at the professional level, right? So for me, I mean, it's almost a no-brainer for people to sign up for this stuff, especially because it's so inexpensive, right? And I actually had a really good, uh, really good cover and really good reshort. Uh, in total, guys, I used fifteen thousand shares, one five fifteen thousand shares. That's about 50% of my size, right? So I wanted to get ideally 30,000 shares on, but I didn't really have the opportunity to do so. So, I mean, I really can't complain when I'm getting 50% size and just nailing it. So I'm really, really happy about that. But just to be very clear, guys, I'm gonna be doing this once a month, but if you only want to join the live stream once a month, I mean, you are at a disadvantage, right? You are at a disadvantage. Because by the time you join for the free monthly, everyone else is killing it and cutting their learning curve down. So what I'm doing, guys, is for everyone that's attending here today, we have nearly a thousand people registered. We hit our Zoom webinar limit. Okay, we had a thousand people registered. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing for you guys today is, if you are an MIC member or non-MIC member. I'm going to be giving you guys your first month to live trading for only $99. So if you use this link above that I just posted here, you will get your first month of live trading for only $99, right? Only $99. I mean, it's a no brainer guys. I just made another 500 bucks right here. So let me just cover that out real quick. I'm at 31 trying to cover out. So if any of you guys are on the fence about joining live trading, uh, I would highly, highly suggest that you join using this promotion that we're doing right now to get $99 for your first month. A lot of people have trouble with the DocuSign. So I've also included the DocuSign link support here. So, I mean, guys, if you just try it out for a month, I mean, it's a no-brainer. It's really a no-brainer to try it. $99 a month is $4 a day. And I just made $8,000 trading. Uh, and for people that are not in MIC, right? For people that are not in MIC, right? You could use this link, this tiny URL link, tinyurl.com slash Alex Live Trading. And you'll be also able to qualify for the first month of getting $99. So let me kind of walk you through uh, how to sign up. One sec, I'm just covering this out. Give me a sec, guys. Uh, let's see. So just give me one second, guys. Just trying to cover out here. 25 covered out. Made another, I don't know. Someone do the math. I think it was like another 500 bucks. So now I'm at $8,700 on the day. Guys, this is a real account. This is not a demo account. You can see my account numbers here. Um, so let me kind of walk you through how to sign up for the live trading if you are interested. So this is what the page looks like, guys. This is what the page looks like. So you come on here, you type in your name, Alex Temis, type in your name, your email, alex123 at gmail.com, alex123 at gmail.com. And then you're gonna be going to this legal disclaimer. So this is basically a legal disclaimer that we have set up that reminds you guys I'm not a financial advisor, you know, all that mumbo jumbo that I post in the beginning. 
So you, oh shit, you're gonna get an email with access codes. Let me actually do this the right way. Give me a second. I put my real email in there. So once you type in your email, you're gonna get this. It's gonna ask you to send in a code so I'm going to type in the code that I got to my email. I'm going to validate it. After I validate the code, guys, what you're going to do is you're just going to sign the agreement, right? And this basically says uh, informational and educational purposes only, yada, yada, yada. After you sign the link, all you're going to do is hit finish. And once you hit finish, close. Once you hit finish, you're going to hit continue. And it's gonna take you to the purchase details where it's gonna be $99 on your first month. And to spice it up even more guys, to spice it up even more, I'm gonna add a bonus. So the bonus is as follows, so pay attention closely. If I do not generate $20,000 in profits for myself on the month, you do not pay. So let me say that again. If on the month I do not generate $20,000 in profits, you will not pay. So essentially it's risk-free. So I already passed the $20,000 mark in August. Very clearly I'm at $8,700 today. So it's pretty much no risk for you guys. I mean, it's a no brainer. So yeah. I mean, shit, maybe I should not have covered all of it. <laughs> I mean, I can't really complain here, guys. I really just can't complain here. I'm very happy with my trading. The MIC process works again. And I'm done in, you know, 15 minutes, guys. And this shit's going lower without me. Welcome to my life. So oftentimes, guys, I'm not even a perfect trader. I minimize these things all the goddamn time. Now I'm pissed. Now I am pissed. But hey, I'm not a perfect trader. I am not a perfect trader, but I'm able to do this. That's fucked up. All right, guys. So, well, that's pretty much it. So for those of you that were on the fence about live trading, for those of you that were skeptical about live trading, what do you think now? What do you think now? And that's it, guys. I don't need to be trading all day long, right? I don't need to trade all day long. I just need to take the meat of the move and walk away. And today, in 15 minutes, I was done. That's it. I'm done. Made my money. Made a pretty decent amount of money too, bro. So, guys, thank you, everyone, for attending. I'm going to post the replay up. And I'll see you again for back at this again tomorrow, right? Back at this again tomorrow. So today was a great day. Really happy with my trades. You know, 15 minutes of trading and that's it. Have a great rest of the day, everyone.